I am so excited to meet you both today and talk about this movie that is definitely going to give me nightmares. (laughs) (laughs) So I made a mistake recently and I downloaded this app called Citizen. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but what it does is it, yeah, you know, it tells you in real time the crimes that are happening around you at any given moment. Oh boy. Uh, So I live in constant fear of home invasion now. I'm curious for each of you, what in life or in horror movies scares each of you the most? Ooh, you know what? For me, it's like ghosts and demons. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The the home invasion thing, I'm like, I'm I'm cool about, but like the second, the second you bring that, yeah. Well, not cool with that, but I'm like, you know, I don't. It doesn't terrorize me the way that like a Ouija board might. I don't know. I you know I grew up I grew up like Mexican Catholic so I have I have some like mm. superstitions that I've Gosh. hung on to maybe. That makes sense. <laughs> How about you, I'm, Madeline? <laughs> I'm more I'm I'm more afraid of uh, the home invasion, but I also think there's something about uh, the innate fear of just being a woman walking down the street that uh, comes up with that. So I feel like that just kind of is amplified when I'm home alone. Unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Yep, that resonates. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So, yeah. So this movie in the way that I think the best horror movies do is it like it entertains on the top surface and then it has a lot to say below the surface. In this case, I feel like it talks about sort of the like the innately sinister nature of fundamentalist religion as well as the senselessness of violence. I'm curious mm-hmm. for each of you, you know, how, what do you feel like the film says about those themes? I think this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to some of the themes you're talking about, like that we even explore those so much more in chapters two and three. Uh, mm-hmm. I think there is this kind of, and this is come, comes back to my childhood, like feeling like an outsider all the time. There's something about this film that like really is anti-outsider, which I find really interesting um, and kind of like alienating in a sense. Uh, I, I think there's a, a lot of themes of like learning how to love through through really constant battle and like and dealing with these really tough uh, situations like th- with love, which I don't think you see in horror films often. But I also think it, it is interesting to touch upon miscommunication and couples in a horror film. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we do touch that like very briefly. But I really I really love that we do that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think what's really special about The Strangers is like the contrast between the love that's present and the the abject horror that's that's happening on screen, right? Like the house is like the most sacred location that we can have nowadays, it seems like since the pandemic and working from home. um, And, you know, we're we're a lot more attached to where we live day to day. So it's a lot more like of a special place to us. And to have that violated is so terrifying. And I think like, you know, Maya and Ryan throughout the throughout the movie, they're on a journey of like, really you get really clear on what matters most to you. And I think at the beginning, there's a lot of like noise going on. And when, when uh, there's a situation that's truly life or life or death, it it makes you say the thing that you, you've been afraid to say to your, to your partner. It makes you, it it makes you like, you know, especially with Ryan, I was just very focused on his motivation being, how can I get Maya out of here safe? And that kind of dynamic and that love being present in a way to like ground the movie and, the horror of it all, you know? Yeah. I love that. That's so interesting. I love that idea of it being anti-outsider because like it, this is the genre that has always belonged to outsiders. So that's an interesting mm. sort of reversal. Mm. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. This has been so much fun. I'm excited to do it again for chapter two because I'm Absolutely. already like, all right, when is it coming? When is it coming? I need to Very see. soon, my friend. Very soon. <laughs> I love it. 